I'm Jill Weisenberger, registered dietitian, nutritionist, and certified diabetes educator in Southeast Virginia. And I have some surprising statistics to share with you. Next time you are in a supermarket, a shopping mall, or a crowded sporting event, randomly count out 10 people. It is a near guarantee that four of them will have diabetes or prediabetes. And that's a lot of people who are looking to manage or really even reverse the disease process and especially through diet. And I love talking about diet because I love food and because adding health boosting foods to the diet is always a winning strategy. So I have lots of foods I like to recommend, including foods with resistant starch, like these that are made with the Health Sense High Fiber Wheat Flour. So not only are these familiar products and they taste great, but they have at least double the amount of fiber, similar products, made with traditional wheat flour. The thing that makes resistant starch so cool is that it doesn't contribute to blood sugar levels. And that's because, just like it sounds, it's resistant to digestion. And that's what gives it its fiber qualities. And resistant starch has a second superpower too. It feeds the gut bacteria, and in the process, compounds are formed that have health benefits one of those health benefits is that it reduces insulin resistance. So that is two ways that my patients with diabetes or prediabetes benefit from having resistant starch. So they always want to know, well, where else am I going to get resistant starch? So I have several foods to recommend to them, including green or underripe bananas, uncooked oats, that is delicious in muesli, and also cold potatoes, because who doesn't love potato salad? And I have even more to recommend, like pulses. So that's beans, peas, and lentils. And they also have resistant starch. And they're also known to be heart healthy. So that is so important to my patients with diabetes and prediabetes, because people with diabetes have at least double the risk of having heart attack and stroke. And then we have this grouping of five foods the American Diabetes Association finds that diets that have high intakes of yogurt and berries, nuts, and even coffee and tea are linked to less risk of type 2 diabetes. We can put all of that together. We can have yogurt with berries and nuts, add some tea to that. We can have a sandwich made with the Health Sense high fiber wheat flour, have some coffee with that, and then tonight for dinner, just go into your pantry, pick out a can of black beans or chickpeas, whatever your favorite, drain them, rinse them, and put a spoonful on top of your green salad. And now you have all seven of my favorite foods for diabetes and prediabetes.